Okay, so this is an example about how to do linear interpolation. This is for hydrology, and we talked about using linear interpolation as part of the solution procedure in the last class, so I thought I would do this again. This is a good general technique that is important to know how to do in engineering. So we're going to talk about how to do linear interpolation here uh, as our first example of an online learning uh, module as part of the hydrology class. So here we have a linear interpolation example. OK. So always, when I'm teaching, I try to provide some context for why I'm teaching you this. So you know, the first question you might ask yourself is, when do I need to use linear interpolation? So if I ask a question, I, I will try to pause for a second. You may want to pause it and think about the answer before you go forward and trying to work the problem, because these are the thoughts that, that I want you to be having. If you see a situation, oh, should I use linear interpolation? You got to be able to identify that. So, so when would we use linear interpolation? Uh, whenever you have a table of values and you want to get a value, estimate a value, that's not in the table, but it's within the range of values provided in the table. Or you can even go outside the range, but but we're gonna not, not worry about that here, okay? So, so here, to do an example then, we're, we're gonna need a situation where we have a bunch of x, y values in a table, and then we wanna find a value that's in between the numbers in the table, but is not uh, expressly given. So here, for an example, we could have like x values of one, two, three, four, and five. And then if we say x equals one, we have also in our table the corresponding y values. So here we'll make those 2.1, 3.2, 5, eight, and 10. So, so given, given the, these values, so estimate, y if x equals to 1.4. Okay, so this is a situation where we use linear interpolation because we have x's. If we knew x is 2, well, then y is 3.2. Boom, we just look it up. But here, we don't have the value at 1.4, but we have the value at 1 and 2, so we can use that information to, to make a pretty good estimate of what we think y would be. So if you're looking at this example, we're going to go through, we're going to do a bunch of calculations. At the end, though, you want to make sure you take a step back and think about whether the answer makes sense. It's very important for engineering to be able to think about whether your calculations make sense, because it's really easy to make mistakes when you're doing really complicated series of calculations. So, you know, x is 1.4 is between 1 and 2. So if y, if x is 1, y is 2.1. If x is 2, y is 3.2. So the answer we get in the end better be between 2.1 and 3.2. If it's not, then we probably made a mistake somewhere in our calculations and we want to go back and double check that. Okay. So our basic formula for linear interpolation here is going to be y is equal to y lower, the lower value of y, plus the slope times x, the value where we're trying to get the interpolation, minus x at the lower end of the range. Okay, so this is our basic formula. Basic interp formula. Okay. All right, so here we're trying to get y uh, at x equals to 1.4. And so that we need the y at our lower value is the y at 1 plus our slope times our x minus 1. This is the x value of 1. OK, so we need a table of or we need to get our lower and upper values here. So we're going to have 
we have to get the lower and upper values for x and y. So I'm going to summarize the table here. I mean, we could just write these down. OK. So if we look at our 1.4 here, that means we're in, in this part of the table. OK, now if, if, if x was 4.2, what would we be, uh, which four values would we be using? So stop and think about it if you don't know. Okay, so 4.2 is between four and five. So we'd be needing these two values of X and these two values of Y. So we'd grab these four. Here though, in this example, we're, we're up here at the top. So X lower is one, Y lower is 2.1, and then X upper is two and Y is 3.2. All right, so, okay. Now we can just plug these uh, into our formula. So y at x is equal to 1.4 is equal to the lower value, 2.1, plus the slope. OK, so now what is the slope? Slope, by definition, think about it, is change in y over change in x. So that's going to be 3.2 minus 2.1 over 2 minus 1. 3.2 minus 2.1 over 2 minus 1. And then my x value here is 1.4. And my starting point of the interval is x equals 1. So if I plug that in, I'm going to get y is equal to 2.54. 2.54. OK. and Remember, to do our sanity check going back, we said what here? If x is between 1 and 2, then our y value better be between 2.1 and 3.2. So 2.54 between 2.1 and 3.2. So boom, we're good.